Hi everyone, this is James. I have a new video for you. It is called Rapture 153 Fish. So let me continue. Now before I get started, I want to mention a few people again. One is Brother Patrick at Hourly Watch. Now he just created a video a few days ago and he said that it's possible that we are at the end of Tabernacles with the calendars being most likely incorrect. It may be a good alignment that might be a possibility with the information some of the information that he shared in that video I have found a few things that may be lining up so I want to share that with you so thank you brother Patrick if you're listening and also fig tree ministries they have a excellent video it's actually a series but this particular one it, is part nine and it's 153 fish and Ezekiel 4710 Sea of Galilee now I gleaned some very interesting information from this video so I'm going to share some of that so let me continue actually let me read 2 Corinthians chapter 13 verses 1 this is the third time I am coming to you in the mouth of two or three witnesses shall every word be established now the Torah calendar, if you take a look at the Torah calendar, if you click on this date, okay, where Simchap Torah is, now Brother Patrick thought it lined up with November the 5th. Now, with the Torah calendar, it says November the 8th. So, some of these calendars are probably not correct, okay? But what I found was very interesting, okay, because when you click on it, sometimes it'll go here and it says November 8th, which is pretty close to probably the actual calendar, uh, correct calendar. Or this was the other that came up, was October the 9th. So it's very interesting. But I want to share a few things that on Simchat Torah, some interesting verses it suggests. I want to share that with you. Now, Simchat Torah. Okay, now it's really small, but it is rejoicing with the Torah. Okay, that's what it says here. And I found it very interesting. One of the readings you got in the Torah, you got Genesis chapter 1, verses 1 through 2, and then also 3. And just like in God's fingerprint, we've got 1, 1, 2, 3. So that is, you know, the beginning of God's fingerprint. So I thought that was very interesting. Now, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. Now, for November the 5th, 2023, that is 21st of Heshvan, 5784, and that's the second month in the civil calendar and the eighth month in the religious calendar so that actually lines up with what we're seeing here but again sometimes if you go to the Torah calendar I find that it Simtat Torah is actually October the 9th okay and this one it says rejoicing in the good things That's, that would stand for Lord or Elohim, I believe, has done, okay? And look what it says here. It says festival cycle is completed, okay? And it's saying it's the seventh month here, okay, 23rd day. So as you can see, these calendars, you know, I look forward to the day when the Lord has this all on the same calendar. That would be awesome, uh, you know. But um, I just find that very interesting. The verses... You know, it, it is it is very possible that the rapture could happen at this time period. You know, it it'll be a new beginning of another dispensation, and that'll be the tribulation, and then we go into the millennium. Okay, those that are born again and saved will be taken out, and then they'll come back in the new millennium, and those um, tribulation saints that are alive will also go into the millennium reign millennium kingdom so let me continue i want to share with you 
this is another update I did on my watch. I felt that the Lord wanted me to do, and uh, it's just incredible um, some of the different connections possibly here. Again, you got John 21 verses 9 through 11. I've shared this these verses with you many times in my previous videos. Now, again. You know, really, it sounds like a rapture typology. Now, verses 11, it references the 153 fish. Now, this is when Brother Patrick mentioned that possibly it could be November the 5th. Okay, this is where it lined up. I put the 5th here. Okay, and this was the 1st, the 2nd. Okay, the third, the fourth, and then the fifth. And it's just incredible how this came together because it is a triangle, okay, where the cell is here. And you got one, five, three, okay. Just like in John chapter 21 when the Lord Jesus made a miracle, okay, with them catching the 153 fish. So that lines up. And... Also here, you got 3 times 3 times 17 equals 153. And here you got the 17th. The Lord felt wanted me to record that. And so you got 17 here. You've got 3 here and you got 3 here. Okay. You have, you have that equation there. And also, you have 1, 5, 3. And again, you have 1, 5, 3. So it's like a triangulation pattern. Okay, like a mirror. And I felt the Lord wanted me to create this small boat. And this mountain actually turned into a net. Okay, and then I, I left this rainbow in here and with the cell. So, and then with Revelation chapter 22, verses 21, again, it lines up in that time period. You've got 21. If you watch my previous videos, you understand what I'm talking about, but 2021, 20, 2022. So you have Revelation 22, 21, and then Revelation 22, 20. Okay. Now, what I want to share you, I want to sh share some very interesting information. Okay. About Ezekiel 47, the river of life, and how it connects with the New Testament. Now, in Ezekiel chapter 47, verses 10, let me read this for you. And it shall come to pass that the fishers shall stand upon it from Engedi, even unto Englam. They shall be a place to spread forth nets. Their fish shall be according to their kinds, as the fish of the great sea exceedingly many. So it's very interesting. It kind of seems to relate a bit to John chapter 21. Okay, and the apostles became fishers of men, and of course, those that spread the gospel, share the gospel, are also fishers. Okay, so I just thought that was very interesting how you have Ezekiel 47 10. It's talking about nets, it's talking about being fishers. And but this is what I really want to show you look at this Getty. If you take a look in the Hebrew, okay. The letters add up. You got three, four, and ten is seventeen. Okay, just like I showed you, three times three times seventeen equals one hundred fifty-three. And then eglam, if I'm saying that correctly, if you add up the letters for the Hebrew, because each Hebrew letter has a number value, so you got seventy-three, thirty, ten, forty equals one hundred and fifty-three. So that matches with John chapter 21, okay? And again, this really sounds like it relates. Now, I want to show you something else. Now, there's that same verse, okay? Getty equals 17. Eglam equals 153. And not only that, this word Getty is the 153 word in the chapter, you know, you can see that God intentionally did this, okay? And I believe he did that to point that John chapter 21 and also 
Ezekiel 47 are relating, okay? So it's very interesting, but there's more I want to share with you. Now, there is another word, there's another set of words that mean 153. Let me share with you John chapter 1, verses 12. But as many as received him, to them gave he power to become the sons of God, even to them that believe on his name. Okay, so sons of God, the value for these words in Hebrew is 153. Now, I want to go back. I want to go back here. So that was John chapter 1, verses 12. So as you can see, this one, okay, in this column leads up to here, and this is 12, okay? Is it possible? I feel through the, like, through the power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord had me design it the way it is. You know, it, it is possible. It, the alignment here is incredible, you know? So, and another thing I want to mention now, when people read Sons of God, there's a lot of times they think that, well, when you are changed to be like God, then if you're a female, you'll be a actually a male. No, I, I believe that what it's saying is in, in terms of your inheritance, your standing would be you're treated as you were a son, even though you're a daughter, okay? you would get the same inheritance. Now, that's what I believe, okay? Now, we'll have to wait and see, but uh, I believe that's what that means, okay? But uh, let me continue. I got some more I want to share with you. Now, here's Ezekiel 47.10, and again, we have the 4 here, 47, and then you have the 10. There's actually a 10 here, and the 10 is covered up here, but there is a 10 right in this area. So I just think it's very interesting. And of course, you have the fishnet here. And even my older version of my watch, there was a fishnet. But uh, I just think it's amazing what it's morphed into. And uh, I really believe that we are close to the rapture and the start of the tribulation or Jacob's trouble starting. The In the Middle East, it's just getting worse. And, uh, you know, I really, really think that we're close. So, I want to share some more. And again, you see this V here. See all these come together. These components all line up in various ways. You're seeing that there's that V. It's a triangulation. 153 is a triangular number. Okay, so that is very interesting. And... Again, we're seeing this altar here. This is on the second part of my matrix. And here's an altar here. And in the matrix, it is pointing, these hands are pointing to this verse here. Let me read Revelation chapter 22, verses 13. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. So let me continue. Now I want to share with you Psalm 9010. And again, this kind of lines up right here. You got the 9, you got the 10 right here. Okay, I'm going to read for you. The days of our years are three score years and 10. And if by reason of strength they be four score years, yet is their strength labor and sorrow, for it is soon cut off and we fly away. Now, it sounds like the rapture will happen and the tribulation sounds like it's going to start right away or Jacob's trouble. So, and I just want to mention that is a range from 70 to 80 years in Jeremiah chapter 16, verses 16. Behold, I will send for many fishers, saith the Lord, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain and from every hill and out of the holes of the rocks. So again, Back in the Old Testament, Jeremiah is mentioning the Lord will send fishers, okay? And then you see in John chapter 21. And then you see in Isaiah chapter 47 verses 10. You see the same theme 
that the Lord is going to make fishers of men, both in the Old Testament and the New Testament. And I want to share with you Amos chapter 8, verses 9. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in the clear day. So I really believe that is referring to the rapture happening and the tribulation starting, or judgment starting. So I just want to show you, you've got this A here. You've got an altar, and you have an A on the altar with an SOS. And you have like a bird on top, could be relating to we fly away at the same time. And you also have 89, looking at this time, we're really a high watch time. Okay, and then Jeremiah 16, 16, you got 16 here, you got 16 here. So I don't think that is a coincidence. You know, through the power of the Holy Spirit, the Lord had me create this, modeling this after God's fingerprint, also known as the Fibonacci Golden Sequence or Golden Spiral. But again, I want to mention that the Lord God allowed Fibonacci to discover it, but it's actually God's fingerprint. So let me continue to the next slide. Now, in my previous videos, I shared with you this part of the matrix. This is the first part of the matrix right at the beginning. And also, there is the end here. But you have the 23 here, you got 23, all right, and you have the 1, 2, 3 here. So you got 1, 2, 3, you got the 23, you got the 26 here, you've got the altar, you got the, the A, it's actually covered. The only way this is possible, because God is behind the scenes. So I'm going to go to the next slide. I want to share with you Isaiah chapter 43, verses 18 through 19. Remember ye not the former things, neither consider the things of old. Behold, I will do a new thing, now it shall spring forth. Shall ye not know it? I will even make a way in the wilderness, and rivers in the desert. And I want to share John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now this is the phi symbol, and this is God's golden sequence. It's one decimal, 6180339, and it continues from there. And it, this is God's golden spiral, and it starts here. It's really really small, but it's 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, 34, 55, 89, 144, and it continues from there. And in simple gematria, if you put in end, the result is 23. And right at the start here, and you also have it at the end, in the beginning. So, interesting. And I also want to show you that in simple gematria, I am, the result is 23. So again, the question I pose, is the Lord declaring the end from the beginning in this video, I think it is very possible. I want to share Isaiah chapter 46, verses 10. Declaring the end from the beginning and from ancient times, the things that are not yet done, saying, My counsel shall stand, and I will do all my pleasure. So I just want to share a slide where this video and other videos I've done in the past are stored on. You can find it at HTTPS colon slash slash zero one one two three five dot net and I'm also going to include my slideshow presentation that's got some important information in the description under this video I'm going to also share some very important links to videos that I recommend so thank you very much for watching may the Lord bless you and I love you all not hidden there's never been a moment you were forgotten you are not hopeless though you 
have been broken, your innocence stolen. I hear you whisper underneath your breath. I hear your SOS, your SOS. I will send out an army to find you in the middle of the darkest night. It's true. There is no distance We cannot be covered Over and over You're not defenseless I'll be your shelter I'll be your armor 